Two milliseconds that could change your life. Two milliseconds. That's fast. It's ten times faster than the single beat of a hummingbird's wings. It's a hundred times faster than the blink of an eye. But during a crash, this moment could be the most important two milliseconds of your life. Although no two crashes are identical, two main types of force, linear and rotational, are related to the majority of brain injuries. Most real-world impacts are actually a combination of both linear and rotational forces. Linear forces occur when your head is moving in a straight line and comes to a sudden stop. Typical helmets are equipped with liners that deform on these impacts and reduce the transfer of energy to the brain. Think of it like a type of second skull. Rotational forces, on the other hand, can occur when your head is struck at an angle and comes to a sudden stop. This can cause the brain to twist within the skull and become injured. The body's primary defense in redirecting these rotational forces is cerebrospinal fluid, which floats between the brain and skull. New helmet technologies, such as slip planes, work in a similar fashion. A slip plane is an extra liner within the helmet that allows the helmet shell to rotate independently around the head during an angled impact, thereby redirecting some of the energy your brain might otherwise experience. It is biomimicry, with the slip plane mimicking cerebrospinal fluid. Here's another way to think of it. Imagine throwing a tennis ball onto loose, granular snow. Since there's a good deal of friction between both the ball and the snow, the tennis ball experiences a high amount of rotational force on impact. Now, if you toss the same ball on something like a wet, polished concrete floor, the ball would twist far less. Instead of being directly transferred to the ball, some of the forces are redirected as the ball slips on impact. Here's the same scenario drawn a bit differently. A slip plane operates on a similar principle. An elastomeric attachment system stretches on impact, allowing the helmet liner to move. How much does it move? Just a couple millimeters, but those few millimeters of rotation during that crucial two milliseconds can reduce the amount of rotational force that may otherwise be transferred to your brain. Here's a closer look. We've spent years collaborating with the designers of the leading slip plane technology, which is called the Multidirectional Impact Protection System, or simply MIPS. Through our extensive trials, we believe that helmets equipped with this technology may provide an additional measure of protection in some impacts. That's why we're pleased to offer MIPS technology in several key snow helmet categories, including all-mountain, freestyle, women's, and youth. All Giro helmets are designed to reduce as much energy as possible while meeting and exceeding stringent safety standards. We call this total energy management and it is our guiding principle as we constantly evolve helmets to incorporate technologies that are proven effective at reducing the transfer of energy. There's no single helmet design or technology when it comes to protecting your brain. There is only this one truth. Less is more. That is, less energy transferred to your brain during a crash equals more protection for you. Less energy means more protection.